talk about how a piece really is born, uh, it, uh, it, it really happens in different ways, you know, it's not necessarily a, a, a magic moment of inspiration, uh, but, but it could be, or, or it's as simple as going on the, on the countryside and looking and then all of a sudden I see a cow in a, in a position that you say, wow, that is so beautiful that I really want to do that. And, uh, so uh, that, that's one way it happens uh, um, often, or, or sometimes it has yeah, a flash of a vision of a, of a figure maybe in a position that you think, wow, this is, this is powerful and I should do it. Then the, the step that would follow that, that kind of a process, this, often I would do then several sketches, uh, sometimes develop the idea on the sketches. And uh, after that, often I do a clay model, a small clay model, sometimes a little one, or go to the, to the larger size. And for that, you usually take a, a wire armature and, uh, um, and start covering it with oil clay and uh, form it and uh, take photos or have just a look at the drawing, which was the original idea. And the work on clay, uh, I usually develop the anatomy first which takes a while, then once the anatomy is, uh, is uh, pretty close, then you start to put the textures on the piece. Put again the rock textures, organic textures, uh, uh, the gear textures, uh, and then uh, towards the end I start putting elements on the surface of the clay, uh, positive elements like a, a real gear or, a, or buttons or fish or uh, different things. The elements, that's kind of the last step, uh, numbers and letters and the elements. Once you finish your clay model, um, the process into getting into bronze, uh, which uh, of course you don't sculpt the piece of bronze, which some people think that you sculpt the piece of bronze, but the first step to get into this process is to cover it with a silicon rubber mold material. You first have to then uh, mix the first coat of silicon, which is two parts of a chemical uh, reaction, silicon, and you brush it very carefully, a very thin coat of uh, silicon rubber, and then uh, you blow it with an air blower to get the to get the silicon everywhere inside the textures and don't get any air bubbles. Then you have to put a second, third, fourth, fifth coat, coats of silicon. Uh, that happened uh, usually in uh, two or three days of, of putting coats. You have to let each coat dry and cure, usually the five, six hours at least, uh, if not overnight. After, uh, after all the coats of silicon are put, you have to uh, then uh, put uh, what is called a mother mold, which is either a plaster mold or a, or a fiberglass mold that uh, will uh, would hold the piece. If you if you think it's silicon, it would just fall, and it wouldn't hold the shape, the main shape. That's what the mother mold is needed to to be rigid and hold that silicon in place. Uh, so you put the mother mold, and uh, after you are done with that, you will uh, you will open your mold, separate it, and then uh, take the original clay out. Close them all back, and then uh, then you'll be ready to pour the wax. You will uh, pour wax inside the mold, rotate it to coat it well, really hot first. The, the first coat is hotter and slowly, so it doesn't trap air bubbles. And, and pour it back into the pot, and then let it cool down for 10-15 minutes. And you'll repeat that uh, three to four coats of wax until it builds up about less than a quarter inch. Then uh, once that wax is cool then you will be ready to open that mold and pull your wax out. Then you have to tool the imperfections of the wax, the seams of the mold. Uh, then once you are done with that, you have to prepare it for the slurry process. To prepare it, you have to put the gates. So you're going to put a wax gate, put a funnel. That's where the bronze is going to be coming later. Then you'll take it to the slurry room. The slurry is a liquid ceramic that is in a container, always moving constantly. Foundry will uh, 
will dip it into that liquid ceramic and then uh, immediately after either dip it in a fluid sand bed or, uh, or throw sand around the, the piece. So it's a mix of the liquid ceramic and sand and that and then you have to do that about five to seven times which takes about a week. You do it once a day. So until that ceramic builds up about a half inch almost uh, thickness then uh, you are ready to take the uh, piece to a kiln. That uh, is a small kiln with a direct propane flame, very strong flame, and uh, that will melt the wax out of the mold. That's why it's called the lost wax process. Um, so the, the wax pours out. And then uh, after that, that mold is now hollow inside that ceramic shell. If it's hollow, then you're ready to, to pour the bronze. They will preheat it and then uh, put it in a sand bed uh, and then melt the, the bronze about 2100 degrees. And then pour the bronze into those molds. hours then they'll break it with you break it with pneumatic hammers then after that you have to sandblast the piece to get the shell out of all the intricate textures and holes on the piece then you have to cut all the gates that you have put cut the gates with a plasma torch or, or uh, cut off wheels um, then you'll be ready to start putting the bronze together where whatever was separated. You have to weld it back together. Uh, then tool it with an air tool to, uh, to make the weld disappear. Uh, then after that, um, after that you'll be ready to start the patina process, which is the coloration of the bronze. Uh, in my case, what uh, the next step will be is to uh, put a, a chemical that makes the whole piece black, a sulfur, and then after that you'll uh, sand it back with a with a cross pad. Then you'll get the the surface of the bronze smoother and shinier, so you get the the black only on the recesses. The purpose of that is to emphasize the textures. Uh, then uh, after that is done, then we spray a, a a dye, a coal dye, spray with a gun to get that golden color on the bronzes. After that, we're ready to put the, the colors, which are acrylic, thin down acrylic, and uh, they also are applied with a, with a torch. And so you are putting heat and, uh, and painting. The, the purpose of the heat, it, uh, it opens the pores of the bronze, so the, the, the color sticks good to it and kind of cooks the color into the bronze. Next step is to uh, give it several coats of uh, lacquer, three, four coats of lacquer, and uh, that protects it from the UV, UV rays, uh, protects the color. Then in some pieces we'll just finish them with a little felt underneath the pieces to make them so they only scratch tables, and things like that, more presentable. That's, that's the end of the process. Mm -hmm.